Good morning and welcome back to the channel. Getting off to a really, really late start here today. It's uh, 7.25 on Tuesday morning and it's uh, minus seven. Video from yesterday got deleted. Because uh, a lot of you people out there are driving me crazy. And uh, I went on a bit of a rant and I yelled and screamed and swore and uh, a lot of you are cowards nowadays. And I voiced my disgust yesterday but I did it in a very unprofessional, unbecoming way for a man. I certainly don't want anybody to see what I was screaming about. And maybe I was upset yesterday because I knew something bad was coming. You never know, right? Uh, I, uh, I shut my... For those of you who have followed me from one YouTube channel to another, you know that I I shut my last YouTube channel down. Uh, if anybody had been following me for any length of time, you had some indication as to why. <clears throat> I said that I would no longer be doing uh, business type stuff. I said I would no longer be doing business coaching type stuff and how business is tied to the world around us and how we're tied back and how the economy is man-made and how to kind of navigate it. I said I wouldn't do it anymore, but uh, shit is hitting the fan a few years early, it seems. And up until this point... I have been right about everything that I have said. Uh, the last major, the last, like even including, uh, I live in Canada, but uh, the last three major elections uh, for North America. I called it. Every time I'm 100%, I'm bang on. And I gave reasons why, and I and I told people on social media, I said, Trump's going to be president because X, Y, and Z. People told me I was an idiot. Trump is president. I said, Trudeau's going to be president because of X, Y, and Z. Trudeau became president. And then everybody said, Trudeau's an idiot. Everybody hates Trudeau. We're going to get rid of him. And then I said, don't you idiots understand that voting does not do a damn thing? Voting is a smokescreen set up to make us feel like we have a say. And I said, Trudeau will be Prime Minister again. And I said, it will be a minority government probably to make you feel like maybe you had a say, but it's still the same banks and the same corporations running everything. But I'm going to change my... I'm going to go back on my word. I'm going to change my mind, whatever you want to call it. Whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to talk a little bit about business today. Or the economy or whatever in the next couple of minutes. Now, a few minutes ago I said I was right up until this point and I have been right. I've been right about everything that has happened. I've been right about things in the wars. I've been... And now I'm finally wrong about something. And I'm scared. I'm excited. I'm excited because one of the other things that I think is that uh, I'm going to make my biggest mark when things are at their worst. 
And this is what I've been preparing for and this is what I feel my purpose is in life or in this experience or this existence or whatever you want to call it. I truly believe that my time here, I truly believe it's to make a difference when things go south real bad. And I said, a few years ago, I said, now, okay, I better give you, uh, okay, my wife. My beautiful wife, I can't tell you where she works right now. Uh, I will, though, in a couple of months. Uh, she still has a job, so I'm not going to tell you where she works right at the moment until this all plays out, but... Yesterday afternoon, my wife and everybody that she works with lost their jobs. Everybody. My wife works in the family services industry. My assertion was that when my wife's job was shut down, which has now happened, I said that this is a sign when the government shuts down a place like this, a place that works with families and a place that works with disabled people and, you know, a place that works with the community. When they lose their funding and they have to shut down, this is when things have hit rock bottom. I said that a couple of years ago. And I said, I did say that my wife would lose her job and that everybody would lose their job there. <clears throat> and it's happened. Except it's happened, I said it would happen in 2022. It's happened two years earlier than I thought. And the reason I'm so scared about this is because I've been right about everything else. And I've been so right about everything I'm willing to go on YouTube and publicly say I've been right. And it's just a fact. I've been right. I'm not gloating. I'm not lying. I'm not... Any, it's just a fact. And most people that know me will actually stand up for me for once because they've been calling me crazy for the last two years. Telling me that I'm wrong about all this stuff. If you're a business owner, now is the time to be scared. If you are a business owner, and you are not if you are not making major preparations with your business now, you're done. You are finished. You will be finished. If you owe any money and you are a business owner, I would strongly, strongly suggest you get your shit together. Now, we have been taught that you must have positive growth for a business to succeed. You do not need positive growth for a business to succeed. And all of the people who I have worked with over the years who have told me that I work too slow, you do not understand negative growth. And you need to find out about negative growth pronto. Because you see, those of you who I have worked with over the years, those of you who have said, Jason, you work too slow, you have not paid attention to what I'm doing. And you have not paid attention to the fact that there is positive and negative growth in a business. And I'm scared for you if you don't understand this. I'm very scared for you, actually. Now, I can't talk about positive and negative growth in a business in a 12-minute video on YouTube. 
So I'm not even going to try. I'm going to leave it at this for today and I will do more videos. <clears throat> Those of you who are not business owners, the same thing, oh God, how the hell am I ever gonna get a, well, whatever, let's just, all right, we gotta cross the highway. Okay, so, here's what happens. Family services industries, the government pulls funding from them. This means that other things are more important. Can you tell me what's more important than family? Can you tell me what's more important than family? You can't because without family, we have nothing. Without family, we have nothing. Now, they have set up religion and the economy and all of this to break up family. Everything in our society is set up to break up family. Those of you who are yelling at your YouTube screen right now because you are staunchly religious, I'm very sorry. <clears throat> Deal with it. <clears throat> religion was set up by the rich to control the weak. Deal with it. You got to start thinking for yourself and now is the time. There's no more time to be nice. There's no more time to be polite. There's no more time to think about, oh, I better be politically correct. When the government shuts down family services with everything else, now you got to consider everything else going on. You have to consider that Trump and Trudeau are two of the biggest morons that this plane has ever seen, and they are in power. <laughs> it's imaginary power, but they're still in power, and we allow it. The fact that Trump and Trudeau are in power, and men have not picked their balls up off the ground and started a revolution is enough. to make a guy scratch his head and go, what in the hell are we going to do now? When the government shuts down family services, you had better be scared. I'll do more videos, and I'm sorry that this is a bad video, but I'm scared. And I'm having trouble figuring out what to say. I'm nervous because I've known this has been coming. This has been coming. They have been brainwashing society for a very, very, very long time. And people are refusing to acknowledge that this is happening. We are lied to about everything. Sorry about the crappy video. I just needed to get my thoughts out. And I hope that those of you who are still following this YouTube channel, or I guess still following me because this is a new YouTube channel, but I think we only have, uh, what, 40 or 45 posts on this channel. We're still brand new. Those of you who followed me from the other channel, though, you know what's going on. For the rest of you, I'm going to give you a hint here. If you have ever had a conversation with someone, or if you have ever gone onto the internet and seen something about flat earth, and you laughed rather than thought to yourself, I better do some research and see what's going on here, you better change the way you're thinking. You have no, no place, you have no time to be narrow-minded anymore. You have to start opening your eyes to the reality of the world around you. I actually, uh, I actually just lied. I said I was scared. I'm actually petrified. And for those of you who listen to this video 
And you go, who cares? Your wife's job was shut down. You don't understand. You don't understand how important, and this is across Canada. You don't understand how important this is. And you need to start thinking with some common sense. My wife works in the family services industry and they have cut all of the funding across Canada. You need to wake up. And those of you who have been watching me and you think I'm just some weirdo conspiracy theorist, you better, better pull your head out of your ass pronto because you are going to have to figure out how to survive coming up. Sorry, guys. Anyways, this video is being posted the way it is. I don't care. If anybody wants to talk about this video, if anybody, like, legitimately want, don't, don't be a robot and send me, you're an idiot. If you legitimately want to talk about what's going on, leave comments. We can start a discussion. I can give some of you clues and pointers as to how to navigate what's coming. Anyways, Tuesday morning, 7.40, minus 7. Hope you have a great day. Hope you have a great week. If you have not gotten interested in the world around you, if you have not stopped watching reality television, and if you have not stopped watching sports, and if you have not started spending that time figuring out what's going on around you, I wish you all the best. <laughs> Good luck. Anyways, have a good one, you guys. Peace out!